to the very funny Gary Bradbury. <laughs> Thanks very much. Great to be here. My name's Gary and I'll tell you a bit about myself. I was born in England and moved to Australia in 1975 when I was seven. Now, to be honest, as a seven-year-old, I really wasn't that keen on coming out to Australia, mainly because I used to watch Skippy on TV in England. <laughs> so I figured I knew a bit about Australia. And I really wasn't that keen on the idea that if I fell down a cliff, I was going to have to rely on a kangaroo telling my parents. <laughs> but it wasn't like that at all. When I got out to my first Australian primary school, my first English teacher in that primary school was a young German woman who didn't like me very much. And I don't know whether it was because at seven years of age I could see the irony of the situation that a German person was teaching me English <laughs> or because I called my school project How England Won the War. <laughs> Another thing that was really weird was that in primary school all the girls sat down the front half of the class and all the boys sat down the back half of the class. And I was told the reason this was was because all the boys believed the girls had germs and all the girls believed the boys had germs. And kids would run up and touch me and go, girls germs, no returns! <laughs> and everyone else that saw it happen would go, barleys! <laughs> I think girls germs, barleys, did I miss something on the plane flight over here? <laughs> Of course, a few years later, I went to high school and the teachers came out and told us that boys and girls do, in fact, have germs and we better wear condoms. <laughs> now, I'll be, I'm 37, I'll be completely honest with you, I feel like a bit of a lucky guy. I feel pretty lucky, mainly because I've never actually caught a sexually transmitted disease. And it hasn't been through lack of trying either, I can tell you that. Because <laughs> I haven't always wore condoms, which is a bit of a risk not to wear condoms. But I'm a risk taker, folks. I've been taking risks all my life. When I used to ride my bike to primary school, I never wore a stack hat. <laughs> and I figure condoms and stack hats are basically the same thing. They're there for your protection and you really should wear them. But every now and again you think, well, I'm only going to be a few minutes. <laughs> of Grew up on a lot of television. My favourite show when I was growing up was Lost in Space. I was such a fan of Lost in Space that I used to dress up as Don West who was the co-pilot of the Jupiter 2, mainly because he had a green outfit and I had a green tracksuit. <laughs> Got my mum to get me a green v-neck jumper and a yellow skivvy, put my gum boots on, made a laser gun holster out of a shampoo bottle that I wore on a belt and went shopping on Saturday mornings with my parents thinking I looked like Don West. <laughs> feel like a bit of a retard telling you that. <laughs> But you know, the most in interesting thing to me about Lost in Space was that the Robinson family used to grow all of their food using hydroponics. Now, as a kid, I'd never heard this expression, hydroponics, didn't know what it meant. Now I'm 37, I realise what a lot of people use hydroponics for. <laughs> I think I now know why they call that show, Lost in Space. 